Good morning, sweethearts. How y'all doing? I think it's Wednesday. I'm not sure what day it is. <laughs> you feel the magic? You feel the intensity of the energies? They're gonna, they're intense and they're gonna continue to increase in intensity and you're gonna find with, with the beauty of this intensity, sweet ones, is you're being asked to go within and rely on your inner guidance to guide you and to answer your questions. There is a lot of confusion out right now and confusion is a very beautiful, beautiful gift. Confusion is a one space where the human aspect will allow itself to surrender when it's in confusion, when it's in that space of I don't know what to do. It's in that space that we allow ourselves to, to fully rely on that which is unseen. Good morning, Roberta. Good morning, Katerina. Big hugs and blessings for your hearts. And so, ascension is, yes, ascension is a planetary event. Awakening is a soul journey. It's an individual journey. And right now, what is being prevalent in many of your relationships, if you will, everything is a ship, a relationship. And anything that is not holy and pure is surfacing. And this is, the, this is where you are not your emotions. And when you can really allow yourself to observe what's really triggering you. Good morning, Angela. How you doing, sweetheart? Big hugs and blessings, beautiful. And your emotions, even though it's your family, it's your partner, it's your lover, it's someone in one of your spiritual groups, this, that, or the other, even though them saying something or doing something or whatever it is triggers you or creates a judgment or a defense mm -hmm. mechanism, if you will. If you are finding yourself in a space of defensiveness, it is not the other person, sweet ones. They are playing a role. You're a conduit. And right now, it's, it's really helpful... Good morning, Donna. How you doing, beautiful? Big hugs and blessings. If you really, how you doing, Kimmy? If you allow yourselves to really see through your emotions, I'll give you an example. Um, say you're in a relationship and you just found out that this person is a so-called sex offender or registered sex offender and again everything that's coming up right now sweethearts is directly tied into trust distrust trust not only extending that trust out and seeing where you distrust your family your friends your partners yada 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 but really it's never what the physical presents itself and it's directly tied into the core issue of trust which when you trace it back sweet ones when you can again understand you are not your emotions and you can tra tra trace it back it comes down to the fact that you veiled yourself when you chose to incarnate for this mission as a conduit and that's where all your abandonment issues come in that's where all your rejection and you're gonna find sweet ones what mm -hmm. is surfacing right now in your experiences where, like I said, the example of you've been mm -hmm. in a relationship and you're finding that now that has sur the truth has been revealed and it has surfaced that you're with a registered sex offender. What's the first thing that's going to go through your the human aspect? You're automatically going to go and experience, if you will, all of those top beliefs that 
somebody's a registered sex offender, they're automatically evil. You go into that space of judgment. Mm -hmm. Well, let me give you an example of what I'm speaking about. And the government and in, in slave program of the 3D, my ex-son-in-law, this is a perfect example, he had to register as a violent sex offender even though he had gotten in trouble for robbing a convenience store. It had nothing to do with sex or what the government or humanity would describe as a sexual offense. But yet he had to register as such. The, this is a perfect example of something I'm dealing with with like five people right now. And the reason I use that as an example is because that's very prevalent to the sexual miscreations and the energies that are being presented for everyone right now. They can all tie back into trust and mm -hmm. beliefs and taught behaviors and everything else directly tied into the false beliefs and systems of what sex is and is not. This includes anything to do with abuse, sexual abuse, rape, pedophilia, manipulation, narcissism, narcissism. All of that is directly tied into power over others and how sex has been used as gratification versus a holy, sacred creation act that it truly is. And so... These are top beliefs that are coming up, not only in humanity, but be, for many of us, if not all, because we are conduits. And as a conduit, we release those karmic energies through ourselves that are being released from the planet, from Gaia. And, and so that is being shed, and it's going to be very prevalent in the next two weeks. Now, just because it has been given a label, a definition, just because in the 3D construct matrix that you were told that somebody who is a, a sex offender, a felon, this, that, or the other, remember, sweet ones, every being is divine and sovereign. And if you are not seeing the divinity, the holiness, the sovereignty, the sovereignty in any and all, that's a space within you. Because you are conduits. And so if you're in these spaces in your relationships where it's coming up that truth is being revealed, nobody lied to you. Nobody did anything to you. But everyone is a role and they are triggering things within that we're releasing for Gaia through our own cellular memory, if you will. Because remember, we all come to be in form. We come from Gaia. And if she holds that karmic energy within this planet, however it may be, so too do you. So too does each of us. So, yes, every feminine incarnate, every masculine incarnate, in their own individual way that they chose to be here, in whatever role their soul has chosen to play, everybody is playing a role for you. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Sharon. Megan. Big, big hug, Ollie. Big, big hugs and blessings. And so, when you, again, sweethearts, I love you, Alice. I love all of you. Again, you are not your emotions. Detach the emotions, sweet ones. See through it. It's not what the physical mm -hmm. is presenting right now. We're collapsing the physical distortions of karmic energies that are coming up to be released. And... When you can allow yourselves to see beyond and to go within and ask yourself if you are in a space of confusion, if you are in a space of experiencing a lot of this unveiling, if you will, in any kind of relationships, any kind of your groups, 
disease, illness, all of that stuff is surfacing in the physical vessel. If you allow yourselves to see beyond the physical presentation, you will find it is helping you, assisting you, and guiding you into full mastery. Mastery is a soul journey. Ascension awakening is a soul journey. And you can only come into that mastery by fully honoring and trusting thyself. So if you're still finding yourself in your confusion, seeking answers outside of you, ask yourself and observe, where are you not trusting yourself? Because right now in the next two weeks, you're going to be receiving an even more intense quantum light encoded filaments that's going to surface anything where you are not standing in your own mastery, trusting yourself. And it is only when you are in that full space of mastery, of fully relying on your inner guidance, that you come into that space of interconnected and oneness of interdependency versus codependency. And codependency, again, is very connected to everything that is surfacing. Trust, sex, manipulation, narcissism. Good morning, Devin. Big hugs and blessings. Jane, Kaz, I love you guys. And so, <clears throat> again, sweet ones, these energies are beautiful. They're so beautiful. And... The more you allow yourself to really just observe it and not judge it and, and know without a shadow of a doubt, you are not your emotions. You are a conduit. And when these things arise, it's, n it's not about the other person. It's showing you something that is the sun, if you will, is coming up to remove that is no longer benefiting you. Spend as much time in the sun out in nature as you can, sweet ones. The sun is charging your light bodies. Good morning, Ellen. How you doing? Beautiful. And and so you're really going to find, sweet ones, the more you can spend in the sun, even if it's cloudy, those rays still come through. And the sun is, is the more you can allow your light bodies to, to charge in the sun and be in nature the more graceful this will be and this is a beautiful beautiful moment it's a beautiful beautiful time and yesterday's gateway many went through a whole lot of upgrades the nausea the being tired this that and the other and and no sweet ones whenever we go through a huge energetic gateway that which is hidden will be brought to the surface. And right now, Gaia is releasing all karmic energies in any way, any aspect, any form through us and through our relationships in the physical presentation. We are conduits. And right now, any beliefs, anything that you have been taught, anything in the 3D grid, that is not holy and pure and is directly tied into anything of abuse, manipulation, sex, narcissism is coming up for you to observe and let go of. It's not about the other person. It's not about the ex-boyfriend who's the narcissist. It's not about the ex-lover who, who kept you hidden. It's not about the ex-girlfriend who's a narcissist or is a manipulator. These are all karmic energies that we are transmuting and transforming as they are being released from this planet as she sheds her final skin, getting ready to fully complete her journey through the sun that began back at the spring equinox. And 
as you allow this shedding to take place as the conduit that you are versus the human emotion and experiences that is coming up. And Megan, chilly in Illinois, my goodness, it's it's a very chilly here. I don't know if you can see out my window, but you can see the frost on the, on the cars. Um, you can see my messy room. I, I unloaded <laughs> unloaded a U-Haul yesterday, and uh, so I've been busy. I'm not on much. I got a lot of unpacking and rearranging to still do, and. Uh, so as these changes take place, sweet ones, really allow them to take place. Let me catch up here. Good morning, Dave. How you all doing, sweethearts? Slept like a brick last night and woke up stiff. My head felt completely full. Lots of information downloaded or given. Absolutely. And there's, a, again, all of this light encoded filaments that are coming in. Light is information. All darkness is, is lack of information, sweethearts. And so as these karmic energies are coming up, as they are surfacing, keep in mind, remember, you are not your emotions. You are not that human aspect. It is that human aspect that you're transforming because those, you're, look, I liken it like this, sweet ones. Every time you have an emotion, whether it's, you have, an, you have a fear, you're feeling and releasing Gaia's feelings, Gaia's energies, Gaia's emotions. She's a living being. And when you have emotions, amplify that by 7.8 billion souls right now. And you will understand that you are Gaia mm -hmm. releasing those karmic energies. That you are Gaia releasing her emotions. She's your inner child that you've been healing. You had to believe it was your inner child. And remember, we come from the future to neutralize zero point and harmonize our miscreations. And that's all we're doing. And as we're doing it, we're doing it for Gaia. And the more you release, the more you transform the lighter she becomes, and the lighter you become. So the density, the carbon-based density, the darkness, whatever label you want to give it, is lack of information. And right now, you're, this planet and you and us are all being bathed in a great amount of information. And that's the beauty of this, three ones. So stay grounded. That's going to be your, your greatest alley right now is staying grounded out in nature and connecting to the sun above and below and you're bringing it together on the physical plane of existence so let the shedding continue sweet ones and as you shed you will continue to see much morphine in your individual realities much morphine in the physical outside realities you're going to find that your vessels are morphine are changing your circumstances, everything. And remember, again, sweet ones, is in the deepest space of darkness that you hold the most strength of your light because that's where the light is activated is in the darkness or in the spaces of con lack of information. Christina cannot be contained. Amplify, turn up the volume, absolutely. Heather, my husband was very angry last night as well, and I know everything he was throwing at me was what he was needing to see or let go of. That is surfacing again, sweet ones. Humanity has gone through another huge, huge shift. The collective. And for those that have chosen not to ascend in this cycle, this go-around. We also, again, our conduits, we transmute and transform that which they are not at the awareness of how to do it. So every, even though it makes, whatever the experience is, again, on the outside, you have to allow yourself to see through 12 lenses. 
because it is only when you allow yourself to see through 12 lenses, 12 open chakras, you open the one eye of God to where you have that full expansive ability to see everything in all in its vastness, in its expansive and expansiveness and have the full truth of all. It's just like why no one religion is the truth. They all hold a piece. In order to see the bigger picture, you have to allow yourself to see through all 12 lens of all your chakras, not just your root chakra, not just your sacral chakra, not just your solar plexus, not just your heart. You have to, in order to see the true nature of the Holy Spirit, of the Christ consciousness, you have to have a fully open heart. And the only way to have a mm -hmm. fully open heart is to have every single one of your chakras, from the earth soul star chakra all the way up, open and activated those lenses. And if you're only allowing yourself to see through one or two or three lenses, you are not seeing the full picture. You are not seeing and hearing that which is the unseen and the unheard. You are not in a space of expanse, full expanded awareness. That's why truth is as fluid as, as the emotional frame of mind you are on. The, the state of frequency that you hold, sweethearts, is because when you are emotional, you have shut down your one eye of God seeing, knowing, and hearing. When you are emotional, you are not in a space of all that you are in the truth of all that you are. The only absolute truth is peace, sweetheart. And you will never see the full absolute truth of anything if you are not able to see through all 12 lenses to open the one eye of God. And right now, all of humanity, and this is where so much of the confusion is coming in, because those veils are removed. And everyone is seeing and hearing things that they're not understanding, understanding, or overstanding. And, but it's in that space of confusion that is so beautiful, because that is where people are willing to surrender. That is where people are willing, well, nothing else has worked. Maybe that person isn't crazy after all. Maybe I need to listen and maybe try. Oh, I got goosebumps on that. And try and hear what they're saying. Maybe there is something there. And that is how you change the consciousness of humanity. So allow yourselves to be okay with whatever is going on. Because truly... Miracles are happening in every breath you take. And whether you're seeing those subtle miracles, they're there, sweethearts. And this planet is being bathed with them, and so are each of you. And it is in that moment where you're tired, and you're done, and you've had enough, and you want to give up, that the miracles start presenting themselves to you in the physical aspect to where you can see them. So no, you got this. We all got this together. I gotta get busy. Have a great, great, great magical day, sweethearts. Reach out, but no. Your answers are within. We can hold space. And we can assist you with seeing beyond the physical presentation, seeing the energy template. But it's up to each of us and each of you to shed that layer of lack of information and only you can choose to do that as the conduits that you are for this planet and for Gaia you're golden sweet ones we all are so shed that skin and know the miracles are bathing you in every breath I love you have a great day sweet ones big 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 hugs and blessings bye bye now